Uh, so we're upgrading the vessel now with a new generation of coil. She's 70 tons larger than the previous one. To put in perspective, a Boeing 737, we need about two and a half of those to equal the weight. So it's about 60 elephants. So every single day they need to launch and recover this, uh, this crawler and they're lifting 370 tons every single day. Deb Marine Namibia's Benguela Gem, the crown jewel of its marine fleet, has been equipped with cutting-edge next-generation diamond recovery crawlers. These powerful machines are engineered to dramatically enhance operational efficiency, enabling faster, more precise recovery of high-value diamonds from the ocean floor. But what truly sets this innovation apart is its environmental integrity. The technology is designed to minimize disruption to the seabed, preserving marine ecosystems while maximizing production. We visited the Cape Town Harbour Dry Dock to celebrate the new crawlers and the imminent installation onto the vessel. It's a bold step forward in sustainable marine mining, blending advanced engineering with responsible stewardship. Rudy, thank you so much for having Mining in Darbar on site today. Now it's a very exciting time for Deb Marine's Benguela Gem. Tell me a little bit about the vessel as a starting point. So the vessel is a new project that was commissioned in 2022 um, and has been mining ever since. Uh, so we're upgrading the vessel now with a new generation of crawler. Now the crawler is the exciting thing here today. Tell me a little bit about what the crawler does. So the crawler, what we've designed it to do is an increase in mining rate. So what it does is it gets lower down to the seabed where it engages with the seabed at its nozzle. Uh, and then from there, it transports all the seabed material as well as the water that's there. And it transports it all the way up to the vessel where the treatment plant um, treats all the material and then sifts out for the diamonds itself. Deb Marine has gone through many iterations of crawlers. Can you tell me what is so special, exciting or innovative about this particular crawler? As the mine plan develops, we need to increase the rate of the crawler to remain profitable. So over the generations of crawlers, we've made bigger crawlers as well as more efficient crawlers. So this is the next generation of it. Uh, we've uh, had a lot of efficiency upgrades in the previous generation. To increase the rate, the mining rate, we also needed to put a much bigger dredge pump and motor. So the dredge pump and motor combination can do 30% increase in flow, which is fantastic. It's also been increased the mining system size from 700 to 800 millimeters in diameter. And to put in layman's term, if you were to fill up the Olympic size swimming pool, so it's about 50 meters by 50 meters and about two meters in depth. It will take about a garden hose about 80 days to fill it up. Now our dredge pump, this large dredge pump to do the flow rates, it will fill that Olympic size swimming pool in 11 minutes. So really a huge increase in, in the rate. Tell me about the weight of the crawler. So she is a behemoth. She's really, really big. So she's 70 tons larger than the previous one. And uh, to put in perspective, a Boeing 737, we need about two and a half of those to equal the weight. So it's about 60 elephants. So every single day they need to launch and recover this, uh, this crawler and they're lifting 370 tons every single day. This crawler is technology that is designed in-house by Deb Marine and by De Beers, is that correct? Explain to me the technology IP that comes with the, with the crawler. Yeah, so at Upstream Technologies, what we're doing is we design the crawlers, obviously with our suppliers in conjunction with us. And we take a lot of partnership with the Beers Marine Namibia. We can only design things if they're providing us feedback in their operations, how, we, how they need to mine, what kind of areas they need to mine. And that collaboration brings over many, many years of successful crawler builds as well as mining tool builds. Uh, so it's completely designed in-house. Every component gets designed, the, the structure itself, the equipment gets specified and then we have a close collaboration with our sub or with our sub suppliers to supply that equipment specific to the needs that we have in the, in the crawler. Now Rudy we've seen this amazing crawler when is it going into the ocean? Well that's the exciting part so it's very close now we're hoping that by the end of September we're going to be sailing out to sea where we can do the final commissioning and then ramp up really quickly hopefully within days but uh, our plan is within a couple of months we'll be full uh, operation into steady state. Rudy, thank you for showing Mining in Darvis' incredible machine today. Really appreciate it. For more insights, see you at Mining in Darvis.